Now coming to the next aspect we'll talk about after understanding the domain, how to choose a domain and like domain extensions is web hosting. Now web hosting is again hosting is it's sometimes it's called as hosting. So it's nothing but a server space where you store your website files. Now to give an example of the server just you can just search for a data center. You can get a lot of images and ideas about it. Now as you can see here all these are data centers where you have multiple server racks in that you have storage where people store web, their website files. Now coming back is how to choose a web hosting guys like just like before understanding web hosting see just like how you have a business you have an office space where you and your employees work same way uh, when you need a website you need web hosting where you can store all your website files. Okay, so now coming to the next aspect how to choose a web hosting whenever you're choosing a web hosting make sure it has 99.9% .9 uptime. Now why it is important is because guys is imagine uh, for Amazon Amazon every single minute they make lakhs or crores of rupees every single minute. Imagine the website is down for one hour or even one day. Can you imagine the amount of losses they incur? So for that reason your website should never be down. Okay, second one is make sure they provide 24 7 customer support even at morning 1 a.m. You have so you have an issue with your website. You should be able to call someone and get it fixed. So coming to the third one you see is the check the server configuration check the RAM of the server check the processor of the server check the bandwidth which is nothing but the upload and the download limit of the server and check what type of storage space they are providing are they providing solid state drives or normal hard disk. SSDs give better performance than HDDs. Okay, so and higher but higher RAM, higher processor also gives you a better performance. So also check the server location. Where exactly is the website hosted? Now always when you are buying, make sure you buy from the same country you are trying to build a website for. So this aspect of server location. So the next one is SSL. SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer. You see that green lock or the, like this is how many incognito. You see that lock that is because of SSL. It's for security and encryption. So now coming back where do I buy? I think I think now this is aspect of how to choose a hosting. Now coming to types of hosting there are so many different types of hosting but basically these are the few base, types of hosting. Now you can have like a 10 hour class only on types of hosting and what to choose only but in simple words there is shared hosting, VPS hosting, cloud hosting and dedicated hosting. Now to give an example you can go to again most of the companies where you buy domains the same companies will sell hosting. I go to hosting guys can I see this shared hosting, reseller hosting, VPS hosting, dedicated hosting. Same here if I go to here search for let me just one thing. Let me click on the domain. Can you see hosting? Click on hosting. You can find all the different types of hosting. Seems like they don't have web hosting. <laughs> there you know. Let me choose web hosting. So of course they again whatever I was explaining here guys before how to choose a hosting 99.99% uptime 99.99% uptime 24 7 customer support 24 7 customer support technical support available check the server configuration you have to scroll a little bit down you can see the RAM the storage space all those stuff they mention here they are not mentioning the server no, sorry they are not mentioning the processor most likely it will be a very small server or a small configuration that's the reason they don't mention some companies do mention say for example I go here and go to dedicated hosting to give some example can I see here can I see dual 8 core 2.1 gigahertz all the stuff you can see the server configuration like all the stuff and also you can see is it SSDs or HDDs can you see here SSDs can you see SSDs you can see them here now coming to the next aspect is types of hosting which I was just explaining shared hosting different different types of plans every company has a different name of calling it but all of them are shared hosting only here it comes on a shared hosting but you can uh, coming back there's one more company where you can buy hosting there are hundreds guys even thousands of websites where you can buy hosting. Hostigator.in is also a good website. Can you see cloud hosting, cloud performance hosting if you want to buy. Again cloud hosting majorly they use SSDs and of course they have something called as reseller hosting where you can sell it as a service. If they are offering a web design services you want to sell hosting to your clients. That's called reseller hosting. Reseller here. Pretty much every company will have a reseller hosting. Uh, reseller can I see? Reseller Linux hosting. 
now this is where we talk about different types of hosting now again guys most common last question is uh, which one should i choose which one should i choose the best one i would recommend is it depends it depends on number of traffic and it depends on the traffic and coming to the next one is the price the price is lowest in shared hosting most expensive in dedicated hosting and reseller hosting is available for every single plan of them okay now here if you are getting very less traffic start with shared hosting if you are getting very high visitors you keep on upgrading up till dedicated hosting okay so dedicated hosting is where you get okay every company offers dedicated hosting guys you don't have to build any enterprise or you don't have to build any store data centers in house okay you can rent it now coming to the next one again price is low in shared hosting and high in dedicated hosting so see based on your requirement based on traffic you guys decide now next one is places to buy hosting now best place i don't recommend godaddy i'll just put it at the last because they have good support guys but the configuration what they provide for the price they charge is way too much okay so one of the one i recommend is namecheap okay namecheap is a very good company you always start with shared hosting they have very decent plans okay i highly recommend go with shared hosting so of course you can go with bluehost sorry hostgator okay hostgator linux okay even this is a very good plan usually if you choose that same country usually the price will increase if you are trying for your first time you don't have to be country specific for now but it's always a good practice to buy in that particular country you get better performance so bluehost is there the side ground bluehost.in i think is for india there is sideground.com these are few websites where you buy hosting so you see sideground.com this is also a good website to buy hosting if you are looking for cloud computing if you want high performance there are some cloud computing servers like DigitalOcean, vulture aws azure it's for cloud computing of course you can build websites with that so these are few things i want to talk about places to buy hosting and the minimum you can buy is for is one month and maximum there are some companies offer even lifetime don't buy lifetime but okay buy usually for like at least a year okay it's a good practice so coming to uh, so that you can change or change or upgrade your hosting after every year so coming to the next one is ip address every domain or every hosting that you buy comes up with something called as an ip address just like if i send you a physical post or a mail to your house i'll be putting your home address with your street name area code and everything and it will be reaching your home same way whenever a person types your domain name what is happening is it redirecting your web hosting ip address usually it's a eight to ten digit number and it will be something similar to this okay now what happens is every time a person is typing that it is redirecting to this particular ip address now the most commonly asked question is most commonly asked question is can i uh, if if ip address is what i can remember can i just remember ip address of a particular domain and can i open the website absolutely guys you can now let's take an example okay let me go to this website called who.is say i type um Hmm. let me type google i type google.com now every time you know you are typing google.com what is happening is it's redirecting to this particular ip address now which is that similar to this okay that's that's i think this facebook ip address now what you can do if either you can type google.com or you can remember this 10 digit or 9 digit number and you can remember this ip address now this is the ip address so i click enter okay can you see what is happening it redirected to page google i'll try again i paste the ip address i didn't type the web address i click enter it is redirecting to that particular website either you can remember the domain name that redirects to that ip address or you can remember the ip address which most commonly majority of the crowd don't remember ip addresses that's the reason we mask them by domain names okay so this is what i want to talk about in terms of domain and hosting 